guys and welcome to my Explorathon TBR. Now I've got a book for every single one of these prompts and I know I'm not going to get through all of them, I just know it because I've just gotten them all out that I physically own and not including the ones that I've got on Kindle or on order and I just know I'm not going to get through all of them but I'm going to try and get through as many as possible seeing as I am one of the hosts I should probably try to get as many points as possible for my team while also trying to do NaNoWriMo and Believeathon. To be fair, Believeathon is just basically these books, but just the middle grade, so it should be fine. I'm hoping it's fine, because otherwise I'm a bit screwed. But anyway, let's just get right into the prompts and what I'm doing for each prompt. I'm not gonna lie, reading out these prompt names is not the easiest for me because i'm dyslexic and it's very very difficult so what i'm just going to do is read out what the prompt is and put the prompt name like here at the bottom so let's just get onto it these are completely not in order that they were announced on the google doc but we're just going with it the first prompt i have is I read a book over 500 pages and so i'm going to go for the lies of Locke lamora because it's been on my list for a very, 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 very long time and it's about time I got to it. It's on this year's priority list. It's over 500 pages. It is exactly 537 pages long, so it's definitely over 500. And I'm really excited to get to it. I've been waiting a long time to get to this and I'm feeling like this is the month for it. Next one is to read a graphic novel and therefore I'm going to go for the fourth Legion comic because I'm Legion trash. And I love Legion a bit too much, so I'm going to read the fourth Legion comic. Next is to read a book with a cruel main character, so I'm going to go for the second book in the boys series, because while the boys themselves aren't necessarily cruel, the superheroes in this world are definitely cruel and narcissistic and just generally horrible human beings, so it definitely counts. Next prompt is to read a sci-fi, so I'm going to go with Sleeping Giants, because obviously this is a sci-fi all about aliens, and if I'm doing a space-themed readathon, I should probably read a sci-fi with aliens or about aliens, so I'm going to go with Sleeping Giants. Also, I've been told to read this for a while now, so I should probably, you know, get to it. Next prompt is to read a book with a caste system or involving slaves, so I'm going to go with Gilded Cage, because this has got like the aristocracy in England makes all commoners serve them for 10 years and it's really really cruel and all the rest of it and they are literally enslaved. I've had this book for about 18 months now, I've been waiting to find the perfect time to read this and considering that this is literally one of the prompts I'm gonna read this one and I'm quite excited actually because it's been sitting on my shelves, it's kind of highly recommended. I'm gonna get to it at last i'm finally going to get to this book the next prompt is to read any book of your choosing now i'm going for an autobiography and i usually don't read those but considering november isn't just the month of the explorathon believeathon and nanowrimo for me it's also the month my mcfly boys come back again because they're doing their gig at the o2 and i'm going and i'm ridiculously excited i'm gonna cry through it i know i will and it's the reason why all of this is going back to five colours again in a different way to it was. So naturally, I'm reading McFly's Unsaid Things, Our Story, which is obviously their autobiography up to 2013 when this was first released. So I am ridiculously excited to get to this one again. I haven't actually read this in like three years. I literally haven't read this in three years and I'm horrendously excited. I'm not gonna lie, I am horrendously excited to read this one. I know it's a very sad read because obviously there's a lot of like talks of mental health and addiction and stuff like this in it, but it's my boys. I love them. There's no better time to reread this than the month I go see them. I'm literally reading this the week I go see my boys. So I keep on calling them my boys. Get used to me calling them my boys because they are, in my mind, they are my boys. But anyway, I'm so excited, I'm going to be reading this one, cannot wait. Next is to read a book where the characters must survive against all odds, and naturally I'm going to go for Deathly Hallows because I haven't read it this month, and quite frankly, I can't think of a better book where the characters have to survive against all odds, considering neither Harry and Voldemort can live while the other survives, and both of them obviously want to survive, and Voldemort wants to survive against all odds, and Harry wants to survive, sort of, so... I'm very very excited for it. I'm slightly nervous because obviously I know not all characters do survive 
But there we go. I'm very excited to get to Deathly Hallows at last. Now this is where it gets confusing because this is actually a bind up trilogy and I'm going to be reading each book in this trilogy bind up as a separate prompt because obviously I'm not going to read a book this big for one prompt because it's over a thousand pages and I'm not insane essentially and this is actually three books in one that were separately published they've just been shoved into a bind up now so if I have this up three times I'm not cheating it is actually three books in one so the first prompt on my list that this actually covers is read an emotional book so I'm going to be reading the third book in this series for that which is Midnight Over the Sanctifrax obviously I'll read the first two first but I'm going to get to the third book obviously for one of these prompts I'm also using this for read a book with a plant slash foliage on the cover because as you can see there is plants and foliage on the cover and for that I'm going to be reading the second one which is Storm Chaser and then backwardsly I'm going to be reading the first one which is Beyond the Deep Woods for Reader Fantasy. Now to move past the Twig Trilogy because quite frankly just holding it is scaring me let alone reading it the next book I want to read is Tin which is to read a book involving an AI because Tin is all about mechanical children and obviously if they are mechanical they generally have some sort of AI in them. Next is to read a scary slash atmospheric book so I'm going to go for The Unbounded which is the second one in the Dark Vault binder. Next is to read a 2019 release so I'm going to be reading The Foul Twins because it literally comes out in November and if you think I'm going to ignore it you got another thing coming because it's The Foul Twins and I am ridiculously excited to get to it. Next is to read a book with a blue cover so I'm going to go for Tone of Voice which is the third book in the Zandri series. I love this series more than anything and I cannot wait to get to the third one. Next is to read a book with the title that starts with the letter S so I'm going to go for Seafire because I've been waiting for this book for two years now and I finally picked it up at Yelk so it's about time I actually sat down and read it and I cannot wait to actually get to this. I mean it's female pirates. I've waited for this for two years. I can't wait. I literally cannot wait. And finally, the last prompt is to read a diverse read. So I'm going to go for Trail of Lightning, which is written by a native author. And it's also all about native mythology. And I'm so excited. It's going to be one of my first ever urban fantasies. And I just I'm really really excited also it's a really nice floppy paperback so this is going to be a really good fun time to read and that is everything on my throw-a-thon believe-a-thon and time topple tbr if it happens but i'm quite excited there's also nanowrimo to do but never mind so i'm just gonna not think about it and wrap this video up so i hope you enjoyed it if you did please do give me a thumbs up comment down below with what you're reading for explorathon or any of these other readathons i'd love to know also Give me your middle grade and your sci-fi recommendations. I'd love to have some more. So leave all that down below for me. I'll also leave a link down below to all of my social media if you want to check out. And if you want to see any more of my videos, please click subscribe here. And over here will be the link to my previous video. But until next time, guys, bye.